Hi, this is Pete, Golf Car Graphics. Uh, today we're going to show you how to uh, overlap your wrap panels. So we've had questions from customers on uh, best way to, to do an overlap when you've got two panels that are uh, coming together. On a golf car wrap you have to have overlapping panels just because of the shape of the body. Um, so this is pretty much standard procedure. So uh, in today's demonstration we've already got our center under the seat panel installed uh, as you see uh, as it wraps around the corner. So uh, because we're discussing overlaps we're going to give you some techniques on how to start the next panel which would be the, the side panel or passenger side panel that goes over the wheel well area. So. Uh, the first thing that you'll probably want to do is straighten up your edge. A lot of times as you wrap around the corner, uh, you may get a few wrinkles uh, as the material comes around and uh, your edge is, is a little bit on an angle. So one of the things that you can do to kind of keep your installation nice and tidy is you're going to cut yourself kind of a, a new straight line. So usually if you use masking tape as your guide, um, you can run your blade right along that to give yourself a nice uh, straight overlap. So that's the first thing that we would do is using your snap blade knife as you would um, cut yourself a new straight line. And so you're using the masking tape as your straight edge. Uh, and again, this is pretty much just to keep your install nice and pretty. Um, so once, once you have it cut, then you're going to pull it up and that would take up any you know, wrinkles or imperfections that you got as you went around the corner. And then you can take your masking tape off and, and now you have a nice straight edge to start your, your next install. Um, so before you do anything, when you get to this point, you need to re-prep. You can't re-prep enough. So have that uh, roll of paper towel handy along with a bottle of your 70% rubbing alcohol and every new panel that you put on you should be re-wiping. So before we start our next panel we've already got the center under the seat now we're coming around to the side so we want to re-prep. You're going to wipe right over top of the uh, sheet that you already have installed and then re-prep uh, very thoroughly. This should have already been done multiple times before you get to this point. But you're going to re-prep that panel and of course uh, all the handling that you did on installing this panel it, there's a measure of contamination from the oils from your fingers so you want to make sure that's all off so that you get a good bite when you do your overlap so now we've prepped with our rubbing alcohol and paper towel the next panels um, going to be installed which is your side panel so uh, traditionally what we recommend for overlaps is anywhere between a quarter to a half inch of an overlap. Um, some of our kits uh, allow you one inch if you're using a, a repetitive image, an image that, that's connecting to carry around the sides. Uh, for solid color wraps, you know, a quarter inch to half inch is fine. Um, you never want to butt it directly up against itself because there is a small measure of shrink back and if you were to do that if you were to butt it directly up against itself, um, you may over time get a little small measure of shrink back and then you'd have in this particular case a green hairline showing. So overlap is very important. So it, when you start, it, if you already have a nice straight edge to your starting sheet, then you, don't, you wouldn't have to do really any trimming if you lay this uh, sheet nice and straight to begin with. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're doing alignment to start your next sheet. So I'll just run a real quick line there and we're going to switch sides. Now again when you're doing the golf car wraps, the tighter you get the sheet, the easier install. So if you pull it tight in all directions, this will make for a real easy install. 
So see how we have the material tented nice and tight over the surface? That's just going to contribute to a quicker install time. The tighter you get the material, the less wrinkles and play in the material, the easier install. So now you have it nice and tight on the surface. Now you can take your squeegee working from the middle of the panel. And once you've got that center hinge of your panel, then you can kind of do your overlapping strokes. And as you can see with this uh, cast automotive wrapping film, very easy to work with. Switching sides. You're just working the material down into place. You know, let the film do all the work. By having it nice and tight over that surface, it just makes your install really super easy. You don't want to fight the material. So you've got it tight. We can tighten it here. Um, when you go up and over the top, use two hands, pull it nice and tight, wrap it over the top. The tighter you get it, the cleaner your uh, fold over is going to be. And then just take your squeegee, squeegee it out. Sometimes you can use your hand. And you're going to continue to squeegee to the back. If you get an air bubble, very simple. Take your finger, push on the top of it, work in a circular motion, and it'll push the air bubble right out. It's just a beautiful film to work with. Working down into the, the crevice area there. You can use the leading edge of your squeegee to help the film to go inside the crevice, down over the edge. Working your way to the back. We didn't use a full sheet for this demonstration because this isn't staying. So on some of the easy goes, you've got this little ledge here. What you can do, once you get the material uh, into position and nice and tight and squeegeed out, you can take your heat source. In this case, we have a heat gun. You're just going to warm that area. You don't have to kill it. Just warm it nice. And then you can take your squeegee. And Gently work it into, into the crevice area. Um, I have it up on an angle, as you can see. I'm just using this little edge here to work it in. And the material will fall right in. So now, because you straightened your edge here and you've had a straight edge with your overlap, there's really not much you could do. If you wanted to, you could take your blade and you know recut another straight line, but uh, for most installs, this is going to be certainly sufficient. And then you would just uh, work on the back side. Your seat's going to cover all this up, so this up in here doesn't really have to be that pretty. If you get up and over the curve, just so all the green is covered, trim on the back side, you're fine. You know, you're really not going to have, uh, you're not going to see that as a finished product. Same with this crease area here. If you want to, down at the bottom, you can use your heat gun to warm it. Run your blade, the blade, you know, blade part of your squeegee in there. Tighten the film in. Now, once this all has been installed, you're going to post heat. Post heating is very important because that's what activates the adhesive to take its permanent bond. So, yes, it's on. Uh, and chances are you wouldn't have any issues, but post heating is what activates that adhesive now to permanently stay in position. Um, so if you have a heat gun, it's always recommended you use a heat gun. Um, basically what you want to do when you're warming the surface is you want to get it up to between 185 and 225 degrees just for a second. So you wouldn't sit and hold the heat gun, but you're constantly waving over that. And by doing that, warming, you're activating that adhesive to take its permanent bond and stay in position. Um, that's a very important part of your install. And this is, of course, once it's all complete. 
Now we have had some questions on trimming. Now as I said, we're, we don't do this whole panel, but we can show you real quick. So here's your wheel well, whether the material went all the way over it or not, we've got our wheel well edge. So what you would do, once the material was completely installed, you want to make sure that the film is nice and tight on the edge. You have a couple options here. If when you prepped your surface, you did a really good job on cleaning not only the outside, but on the back side of the panel, you could wrap the film and trim it on the back edge of the panel. Um, this golf car is too dirty to do that. So what you're going to do is, once you have it to the leading edge, you would take your snap blade knife or razor blade, hold on to the film tight, and then you're just going to take the blade and run it along the edge of that panel. If you can do it in one fluid motion, it's very helpful. This is a really sharp blade. So after you've cut it to edge, then you're going to take your heat gun, you're going to warm up that leading edge, if you have your cotton gloves, you'd wear, be wearing your gloves here. And basically, by warming it here, you're activating the adhesive to take its permanent bond. So that's trimming to edge. Once you do your post heating, you should never have any trouble with this edge if you've prepped it correctly. That should stay down and not give you any trouble. So those are just a couple tips on installing wrapping film, whether it be solid color or whether it be uh, something that has a pattern to it. Uh, these principles are applied to, you know, to all installs related to wrapping film. So now we've got your nice seam where the two panels came together. You can barely see where it is and this is on a solid color. And that's really all there is to seaming and, and, and a little demonstration of installing the actual panel as well. So we hope that this is helpful and uh, feel free to contact us with any questions that you have about our uh, wraps.